Welcome to Daisy's Divas, a show about women making a difference in the Merrimack Valley and beyond. With your host, Daisy Zuzas. Good evening and welcome to Daisy's Divas. Here we are live at the Lowell Memorial Auditorium. Approximately, there should be about 500 guests here to encourage the women Working Wonders Fund. It's a fashion show, so please stay tuned and there's going to be a lot of wonderful women that we're going to interview tonight, so thank you. Right now, that is my mom and my two, one of my godchilds, Despina Zuzis and Soteria Zuzis, and my sister Elaine, who is one of the founders of the Women Working Wonders Fund. And I also want to introduce you to my brother-in-law, John Tebow, who has a Tebow Foundation, who is very influential in this community, who does a lot for charities. John, can we just get a quick word? This is my handsome brother-in-law, John Tebow. How are we this evening? John is very, very supportive in so many charities, John. Are you excited about tonight? This is a wonderful event. You, All you women put a tremendous amount of work into it, and I think the, the result will be in the, uh, in the show. Thank you, John. Anything else to say? Nope. Let's uh, just have a good time, and let's um, make as much money as we can for the community. You look very handsome now. What's Thank up with you. the lips here? Well, the lips are, we have a raffle this evening where we're raffling off a uh, one and a half carat diamond ring and when you buy a ticket you get either lips or a martini glass so it's an indication that you bought a raffle ticket oh that's wonderful so help support the women working wonders fund that's right thank you john here i'm with eileen donahue is going to be doing the commentating tonight and my younger sister despina zuzis <laughs> no my mom who was actually a model years ago so we're looking forward to a good night how about you eileen i think it's going to be a great night mm -hmm. You know, just seeing all the models and the auditorium, it has never looked more exciting. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a wonderful time for everybody. And, and you know what? It's all for charity, mm -hmm. which, is, is. which is great. And how good can that get? It, it's, it doesn't get any better mm -hmm. than that. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to commentating. We've got some pros this year. You know, we have Bloomingdale's. Know. And, you know, so... Um, Chanel. It, we have everything. It, 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 it takes... You know, we've done fashion shows for several years, but this takes the burden off me, so I can just have fun while Bloomingdale does all the all the expert talk. Thank you, Eileen. How about you, Justine? Oh, Are you excited? I think, yes, I am. It's going to be a wonderful evening for a wonderful cause, and um, it looks beautiful. They've done a wonderful job and really have to uh, commend these women for working so hard mm -hmm. and volunteer, volunteering all their, their time and energies. So I'm sure it's going to be, everybody's going to have fun tonight. It's going to be a fun night. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank Divas. You. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you excited for the show tonight? Oh, yes. Very excited. My granddaughter is a model. Yes. My, yeah. My daughter is, a, got a lot to do with things. Linda, Linda Shemley. Very well. Yes, yes. yes. So we're looking forward to it. Wow. That's probably why we've got number two. <laughs> uh, well, enjoy the show, and thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Here we are with John Montblou from Bloomingdale's and Chris. Hi, Chris Willis. Chris Willis. And they are our big uh, fashion fashionistas. What is it, fashionistas? Yes. yes. All, right, we'll go with that word. All right, so let's tell us about the night. Well, I, I think we're very excited to be part of Lowell's, um, first the Lowell community, but most uh, importantly, this organization, uh, Women Working Wonders, founded by uh, Brenda Costello, who is just an amazing woman. Um, who gives so much of herself to the community as well as her children who are in the show, which I think is really amazing. Um, but all the women involved, um, the woman next to me. Supermodel Nancy. Oh. I had a big interview with Supermodel Nancy Donnie. Who has been So I think uh, I'm truly privileged, truly a privilege to be part of it. And I have to thank both of you guys were great. I mean, we came into Blooming Deals and you just know the styles, set everyone up, and quite gentlemen. So thank you. How about you, John? It was fun. It was fun having yeah. you in the store. And then you got me the cute little hat, so they'll see us tonight. So we're all set. Anything else? Nope. Enjoy. Well, thank you. Thanks, Anya. Here I am with supermodel 
Nancy Donahue Jonkis. Now, Nancy has graced the covers of Glamour, Vogue, and she was actually my idol when I was a little girl. I always tell the story. She was good. Actually, one of my best friends from high school was Dottie Sullivan, her cousin. So we used to always look at her picture and dream would be like Nancy. Of course, <laughs> that didn't happen for me. I did real estate. And now, but look at her. So, Nance, I want to talk a little bit about you have a big show tonight. Now, what are you, you're in charge of all these models. How many? Uh, I believe there's 17 of us, mm -hmm. yeah, and just coordinating their schedules. Some of them have to work and getting them here and the rehearsal, and it was it was quite a feat, right. I have to say. Now, Nia, tell us a little bit now, um, you are not only a beautiful person exterior but interior. What do you have, since this is an all-women show, to give advice for young women or any age, like if they want to pursue a modeling or get themselves started at any age? What advice would you give? Go to college. <laughs> yeah. No, um, no. Forget modeling until you finish college. Um, one good reason being is that, um, for instance, I just did a junior college, and then I went off to New York City, and I was discovered and modeled, and did very well. Um, but then you finish. You know, this it, it it ends, and you have to figure out what am I doing now. So then I had, um, I actually went back to college and and did a culinary school and. Um, you know, I had to find another another career, and now I'm in fitness. But I really highly suggest college, college, college. You have to finish your education. It's really important. You can still, there were girls in New York City that went to Columbia and modeled on the side. That's okay. That's good to do. But you have to finish school because there is no life after modeling. And you have to have another career. You know, you have to go to school. Now, that's great advice. Now, you have a, we won't say, the showstopper. Alpha for tonight? No, we won't say. Can we say? Yeah. Oh. What do we care? Oh, oh yeah, of course we <laughs> No, it's a chinchilla fur from Bloomingdale's. It's, I think, God knows how much it is, but it is simply amazing, and um, it'll be a showstopper. It'll be beautiful. Oh, yeah. So everybody needs to look forward to seeing beautiful Nancy and all the beautiful models and just have fun. So thank you, Nancy. No, you're welcome. Nice to see you, Daisy. You too. Thank you. Rebecca Taylor linen baby doll jacket paired with a matching short with citron and a Chanel pink patent leather sandal. She's in a Michael Kors black pleated pencil skirt and she's finishing the look with a very simple Bruno Mali shoe. Nancy Donahue Jonkis, our very own runway cover girl woman and is a renaissance woman in the true sense. She has done so much, not just for this show, but for the world community.